Hello everybody and welcome to what is going to be a relatively quick video update following on from yesterday's video update. Um, don't worry, you're not going to get one of these every day, but I just thought I'd keep you in the loop. A uh, few people showed some concern for my dental uh, <laughs> for my dental issues, so I thought I'd give you an update, not only about that, but there's something else that's developed today as well, which I think you might be quite interested in. Right, okay, so, dental issues first. Went to the dentist this morning with... Oh, some people put on the comments of the last video some horror stories about what they'd experienced with similar circumstance, similar symptoms. Holes in teeth, teeth being pulled out, root canal, really gave me a sleepless night, I'm telling you. Anyway, went this morning expecting to at least have to have a filling. So I prepared myself mentally for, you know, yeah, going to have to have a filling. I'll probably have it without an injection, so that's the best case scenario, fingers crossed. Anyway, got sat in the chair, my regular dentist was back from maternity leave. She's a lovely person, really do love her to bits. And um, yeah, tap the tooth, poke the tooth, x ray the tooth. There's nothing wrong with the tooth. <laughs> second, den second dentist that's told me this now, so okay, two people can't be wrong. But what she did say was apparently there's a little bit of the root of the tooth exposed. Now, here's a health warning, folks. I use an electric toothbrush and have done for about 18 months now. And there is a warning on the toothbrush that says if you brush too hard, it can be detrimental to your gums. And my toothbrush has a red light on it if you press too hard. When I brush my teeth, the red light is always on, obviously pressing too hard. She says what's probably happened is you've brushed too hard for too long on that particular area. It's caused your gum to recede a little bit, which has exposed the root to the elements so when something hot or cold touches the root it sends pain across the entire tooth that's what the problem is she says i thought well bloody hell fire no filling no 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 decay no holes no she said there's two choices you can either use sensodyne toothpaste as a cream news to me rub it on the exposed area and it'll build up a, a, a lack of resistance. Stop brushing so hard up here, and it may your gum may come back down again. Should not be an issue. Alternatively, we can put some white filling over the exposed root, and that'll solve the problem. So I should say you won't have to have any drilling done. Just it's just like a, a coating over the exposed area. I said, well, how much is that going to cost? Uh, Fifty-six pound. And what's the procedure? We'll have to give you an injection to just... No I said, no, thank you. I'll use the Sensodyne toothpaste. Thank you very much. <laughs> and then promptly left. So, yes, there's nothing wrong with the tooth. Just a bit of an exposed root due to excessive brushing with an electric toothbrush. Health warning there, folks. And, um, yeah, going to use Sensodyne toothpaste as a cream on my old gums, on my old exposed tooth. And fingers crossed, two or three months' time, it should almost self-heal. I'll keep you. I'll keep you posted. So I'm really, really happy. I expected to have at least a filling. That's not happening. So uh, here's that. I'll drink to that. Not any alcohol. Cup of tea. Right. The second thing and the final thing, really, that I'm going to up update you with is in relation to my computer in a roundabout way. L announced yesterday, I'm going to be getting some new computer parts. I'm going to be chasing that up this afternoon and hoping to get those in play for next week. Whilst I was at it. I had a bit of an epiphany at work and thought, you know what, I've been on this internet for t for um, for a long time. I renewed the uh, sort of contract last January, 16, 17 months ago. I'm paying £44 a month for it. It's, it's virgin, it's 200 meg, it's uh, download, 10 meg upload. It's been like that for, 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 as I said, since last January. I can get better price than that. I'm going to play the old I want a better deal card. Anyway, so I was right there in the network, I thought, you know, I went into the into the uh, the rest area, wrong version up, expecting um, to get uh, some discount. Why not? Anyway, when I was on the phone to them, they never flipping tell you this, do you? They never they never give you mail in the unless actually unless I've just thrown them away. They never give you mail in the post that says, by the way, we've got new deals on, we've got new uh, new new upload new download speeds. Fancy an upgrade? None of that crap, is there? They just let you let you continue to pay your forty-four pound for a substandard product because as new products come out. And until I rung them today, I wasn't aware that they had two new packages that were faster and better than what I'm on now. So the first thing they said is we can offer you 
the same deal, the same package you've got now for £36. £8 cheaper than I'm paying now. Just like that. Click of a finger, quick phone call, we can give you the same package, £8 cheaper. I said, bloody hell, that's a good deal. Um, but he said, I'll just run these other two offers past you. We've now got an, a, a package called the Vivid 200 Gamer Package, which means 200 meg download speed like you've got now, but rather than the 10 meg upload speed you've got, we give you 20 meg upload and unlimited uh, downloads, etc. No, but the most important thing is there's no traffic management. So none of this where you've downloaded or uploaded a load of stuff, they start to slow your speeds down, which could be one of the reasons why I'm suffering with streaming problems at the back end of my streams. Um, none of that, completely unlimited. How does that sound? I said, that sounds bloody marvellous. I'm, I'm a gamer. I really need the upload speed to upload videos to YouTube to assist me with streaming. Extra upload speed is like the holy grail. Forget the download speed. I'm overly concerned about that. Or you can have the top package, which is the 300 meg download with the 20 meg um, upload speed as well. Anyway, we priced up both and I said the one that came out to be £41 was the, the, the gamer version, the 200 meg download and the 20 meg upload. I said I'll take it, thank you very much. So uh, I'm getting now double the upload speed and I've got rid of the traffic management and I'm getting a new super hub because that could also be the problem with the with the streaming as well, um, for three pound a month cheaper than I'm paying or was paying uh, for the past bloody god knows how many months. So I'm really happy with that, really happy. And due to the fact I'm getting better upload speed, no traffic management, and a new uh, hub, super hub, I'm hoping that that will completely and utterly obliterate my streaming issues. So that will give me more impetus to stream some games. So I'm getting now a new computer. And next week, next Wednesday, is when the new Super Hub will come. I'm getting now faster internet as well. So bloody hell, double the upload speed. I'm going to be uploading videos to YouTube in a flash. It's going to be absolutely marvellous. Anyway, I want to conclude with a bit of a challenge. This is a problem that many, many companies um, cause. And it's, it's, it's sometimes we're at, we're, we're at fault ourselves here. And I'm talking to people that, that pay their own bills and have bills for gas, electric, broadband, whatever you're paying your bills for. We, generally speaking, don't pursue a better deal. As I just said, I was on this contract with, Bro with, with Virgin for about 17 months. Just letting £44 a month come rolling out of my account every month. Same with Sky. You know, you just let it run on and run on. And the, you can see the price increasing and increasing. You just let it happen. Oh, yeah, I need my TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. No, 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 no. My challenge to you right now is if you've had a contract with Virgin, Sky, or any, any broadband provider, TV provider, your mobile phone company, uh, your bloody electric company even, any, any company where you're paying a regular direct debit for some service, and you've let it run on and run on, and you've not negotiated a new contract in more than 12 months, or outside of that contract period when you first signed up, my challenge to you is ring them now. Give them a ring. And just be honest with them. You don't have to threaten to leave and all that nonsense. Just, I just said, look, I said, I'm not happy with the price and the package I'm paying. I think I can get a better deal. Lo and behold, I got a better deal. It's the quickest and easiest phone call you can ever have. And you're going to end up either saving yourself money on the same package, or you may end up getting a better package for the same price. That's my challenge to you. Don't have to do all of your bloody bills, but just pick one, you know. I'm going to pick my broadband company, BT, Sky, Virgin. Pick that phone up. I've been with your, with your broadband for, for two years. Not changed my contract. I'm not happy with the, the costs that have, that have gone up. I think there'll be better deals out there. What can you do for me? And be pleasantly surprised when they bring your price crashing down. In the comments of this video, I want you to leave a comment as to how much money, if you've done this, you've actually saved as a result of making that phone call. Do it. It's... Money in your own pocket. It's better in your pocket than in their pocket. Don't be scared to pick the phone up. I had done this with Sky two months ago. Should have done Virgin at the same time. I say £15 a month with Sky. £15 a month by ringing them. And I had to be a bit more forceful with Sky to get £15 a month off. 
Um, because generally speaking, I couldn't care less if I lost Sky, so I actually threatened to leave. But with Virgin, I like to keep Virgin, so I didn't threaten to leave. I just said, can I have a better deal? And they give me one. So it's up to you how you play it, but give that company a ring. Save yourself some money, and then just put a little comment in the, this video just to let me know how much have you saved by making that phone call. It's, it's a no-brainer. Anyway, I've rambled on for long enough now. So uh, there will be some Motorsport Manager coming today, later today, later this evening, about around about eight o'clock ish. Uh, so enjoy that. I'm going to London for this weekend for my friend's uh, birthday. I'm driving down to London, staying there for the weekend. So I'm going to try and schedule uh, at least one more Motorsport Manager for the weekend while I'm away, and then we'll see what happens with the computer next week and when we can sort of get back up running with Pillars of Eternity and of course starting Stainless Steel. But I'll keep you in the loop. Get making that phone call, don't put it off, do it. Save yourself some pennies and let me know how much you saved. Anyway, lecture over. See you next time.